Hi gals, it's Scrappy and Pink Lady Lisa back with another video and this time I am back with another um, project share. This is a video response for Carol who is one half, one happy crafty chick here on YouTube. If you don't know about her, please go check her out and subscribe and tell her I sent you her way. She is hosting a clean and simple card challenge and I believe the prize is a gift card or a gift link or a link to a gift card for um, not too shabby shop over on Zivit and her challenge for us this time was a clean and simple card and by that she means we are all have gotten in the practice of loading up our card with pop dots and flowers and bling and the more dimension the better so she wants us to make flat cards that will fit in an envelope without any bulk. So this is the card I made. It's a five and a half by five and a half card. And this flowered paper here comes from this Authentic Essentials collection. And I picked that up at Hobby Lobby. And then I used this Fisker's stamp for the Polaroid frame. And this is called, let me see here. If I can find a name, say cheese. So I stamped that in black and onto pink paper and cut it out and I cut out the inside of the Polaroid. And then this was the reverse side of this paper and then this was just a piece of paper that I had in my scraps. I made these banners from this stack. It's called um, La Boutique Vintage Stack by DCWV. And let me see if I can flip through to the page real quick that I cut those out of. You can see here, this is what it looks like. It's got all kinds of different banners. So I picked two of the Eiffel Towers and the one that says Merci, and I cut those out, and I um, edge distressed all of it really lightly, not enough so that the paper would pull up from the card or anything. And then I attached those, and here in the middle I used my Creative Time dies by Miss Emma Aguilar, the stitched heart layering dies, and I used the smallest part and I cut these out of a Project Life card that had pink polka dots and so I cut out the pink polka dots and I put those right up there at the top and then I just took a little bit of twine from Michael's and I added the bows and I made my five and a half by five and a half envelope with paper I've had a long time in my stash and um so I'm going to go ahead and show you how well the card fits into the envelope so that Miss Carol can see. Hopefully this card passes the challenge. Well, first of all, let me show you like that, that you can see that there's no, almost no bulk whatsoever to the card. And the card fits in there just like that. So other than the fact that it's a square card, there should be no extra postage to mail this card. So I hope this card qualifies Carol and for all of you that want to participate in this challenge please go over to Carol's challenge again that's or her YouTube site again that's One Happy Crafty Chick and you can look at her recent videos and get all the details and information. Thanks for watching gals. Bye!